Kahuna. <laughs> This is the Lanchin LT-130. We'll be taking a look at this today. Uh, this is a very small quadcopter. It's a 130 size. And 130 is about the smallest that I've seen that can actually use full-size motors, like um, the uh, 1306 or the 1106 motors. But this frame is very small. And it uh, comes with these little bag of goodies, spacers and stuff in there, plastic spacers and metal screws, it looks like. Let me get this thing put together and we'll take a look at it. So here's the LT-130 completely assembled. It only took a few minutes to put it all together because there's just a few screws. Basically you have the nylon spacer up here that goes through the board and there's some nylon nuts on the bottom to hold them in. And it came with enough metal screws to, fill, to put in here. And basically has these nylon spacers and a metal screw on the top and the bottom. Now, if you look at this, the front of the uh, plate here is cut away and that's so you can angle your camera up pretty good. And it also has a antenna back or a hole back here for your antenna to mount in. Also one back here. And I like these having these two little holes here because what I'll probably do if I were to build this is to have the wire come out the back and I'd run a zip tie through those two holes and hold the power wires down. That way, if the battery comes loose and it tries to pull off of the quadcopter, you'll put strain on the zip tie instead of back on your uh, solder pads on your power distribution board. You can see here these arms are set up for 1806, 1306, um, not 18, yeah, and 1104 motors, sorry. Got a little distracted there. So the, it can, looks like it can hold those, it should be able to hold those kind of motors just fine. Uh, this thing is a very small. Let me get the scale turned on and we'll do some measurements on it. Um, this here, let's see, zero this out. The main plate here is about uh, two millimeters. The upper plate is uh, about one and a half millimeters. And the space inside here between these two is about 20 millimeters. So they're just little 20 millimeter spacers. Now this quadcopter is, they say it's a 130. So if I go ahead and I take this, um, ruler here and I line it up, line the zero up down there and put it up here. It is actually comes across at, at 130 centimeters. So Lanshin, Lanshin, they did a great job measuring this before they cut it and before they decided to label it a 130 because it actually is. It also has these two little slots up here on the top where you could run your battery strap through there to help, um, you know, hold your battery on. But another cool thing, and, I, and I've seen uh, some other quadcopters uh, frames do this, but it has the mounting holes up here on top. And what that would allow you to do is to actually put another spacer inside here and then put your NAS32 board on top of that. And then up on top of that, put another spacer and put a screw through the top plate to hold it all together. And that would just add four more spacers onto this quadcopter, giving it so much strength that you probably would never break the spacers loose by having eight of them on a little quad like this. Even if they are all nylon, it's still gonna have plenty of strength. So here's the scale, and I go ahead and put this on here, and it weighs in about 31.4 grams. This is my Deformation 130, my Blade 150 with the LT 130 in between, and you can kind of see how they size up. So as far as prop sizes go, this is a 3045 gem fan prop. And you can see here that it, there's no way it's gonna run three and a half inch prop. It's, it's way, way too small to run a three and a half inch prop. So here's a, a Diatone uh, 3045 prop. And if I hold it back here over the center of this hole, you can see it's clearing, it's clearing the pole and it would probably fit on here. But here's the front, and if I center this over the hole here, like, I can't even, I'm hitting this little stump here with this, and it's not letting me come bring it in far enough to even put it over the hole. So if I do, it can't spin because of that. So if you actually have this thing built up tall, you're never gonna get this to spin. And uh, it does kind of clear, oh, it definitely clears the front. Well, does it? Yeah, it clears the front post. So, but you have a lot of propeller going in under, you would have a lot of propeller going in under your uh, main plate here. So here's the 3020 prop. These are what you would use on, a, on an 1106 motor. And these here, again, they're, they're still three inch props and so they're still coming in here pretty close. And so if you were to put your motor in here, it would clear the, the little posts that are in here, but it's not gonna spin very well. Here's my, um, Deformation 130. Now, if we hold this up here, and I'll, I'll just set the um, the arm on top of the other arm here, and you can see that this is that this would 
barely fit underneath the um i'm trying I'm having a hard time holding this correctly it's barely going to fit underneath this main plate if you use these are 1306 motors and this thing's barely fitting under the main plate so and that's also i have it down it's sitting on top of the arm and so if I, but if i line it up yeah it's going to chop up your main plate there's no way there's no way you can run 1306 motors with three inch props on this frame so if you're not running three inch props i question what can you run on this two inch props you're going to need like 7,000 kv to get this thing off the ground the uh, 1306 motors are only going to run you 4,000 kv but at, well 4,000 at best they usually most of them are 20 or uh, 3100 anyway i don't really know what motors you would run on this unless you're going to run 1106 and then chop chop these down a little bit but these 1106 blades are so thin already and hardly have any meat on them i don't I don't really know for sure which motors you would use. So this is the LT-130. Other than the props and the what well, prop sizes you're gonna run on this, I think it's a pretty good looking frame. I like the way it's shaped. I like the arms coming out a little bit like this. The only thing is it just needs to be just a little bit bigger so you can run three inch props on it. So I, I don't know, I'm gonna have a hard time even thinking about building this out just because like I said, I don't wanna shave down three inch props down anymore just because you're just cutting meat off of, you know, already slow propellers. Anyway, the LT-130, you can make your own decisions what you think of it, but if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.